Okay, in this video I thought I'd show you just how to um, add some connections on PEX tubing with the crimp tool set. Also, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, shark bite fitting. Those are really neat. They're more expensive though. So the PEX, in case you don't know, it's a flexible uh, tubing. It's really forgiving. Copper pipe comes in the same uh, sizes as PEX, so it's easy to do connections and you know go from one pipe to the next you might see some packs in different colors red blue depending you know that just is for identification for hot and cold water lines that's all that is um, let me show you a tool set here this is from Apollo um, this is what the packaging would look like so inside you get the um, the tool here and different fittings go over that real quick these are expensive so probably when you're done if you're just doing you know your own home for a bit you probably sell it when you're done with it okay it's a massive tool and what it does it's just like bolt cutters it's a lot like bolt cutters it uses a lot of leverage to cramp these little um, metal rings onto the pipe so right in right now I have installed a uh, half inch size it comes with a one inch, three quarters, there's half inch, and then three eighths. And then this little tool here is how you check to make sure you did it right. So let's do one real, real quick here. I have a half inch pipe. And uh, to cut it, I just use um, the same tool that I use for uh, PVC sprinkler lines. So once it's bit just a little bit into it, I give it a little bit of a turn, spin it, and then that um, makes it a lot easier to keep going. Just snips off real easy. And uh, I thought, why not try garden shears? Let's see if these, these are kind of cheap, nothing special about them, but let's see if these, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, almost easier, really. So use whatever you want. Just do a clean job of it. And uh, so I got a brass fitting here. This is a 90 degree. And before you put this in, obviously, you need to put the ring on first. Let's open this up. These are Shark Bite brand crimp rings. It's just a metal collar. It's going to go on like that, and uh, the piece goes in just like that, and then we're ready to crimp. Let me go plug in the video camera before the battery dies. Let's clear this stuff out of the way, and these are really easy to change. You just move this little clip, take this piece out, this piece out, and pop in the new ones. Okay, so I got the uh, piece in. You want it in all the way and this ring right about there so that it's in the middle of these threads. Not really threads, ribs I guess. Just about like that. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. Make sure it's, uh, this is, Let me get it lined up for the camera in a second. Okay, push that in. Okay. There it is just like that. So what I'm going to do is just squeeze. And then you take it out. And I usually rotate it. Just a, about 45 degrees, I mean 90 degrees, and then do it one more time. Then you use the check tool, and let's see, marked on here is the one half inch um, slot. So I put that, there it is on that side. And if you do it right, you see that gap? That's what you want. 
you want the gap right there. If I can push it on, let's see. I can't there. Let's try it here. Uh, okay, so it doesn't want to go. Yeah, it's right. If this were to go in all the way and you see no gap at the top, that means I crimped it too much. Now I've, oh, there it goes. In this little section, I can make it go all the way down. I've done that before on a job where it's been crimped too much and there's been zero problems with it. So I wouldn't worry about that. Anyway, that's how you do this kind of connection. Now let's do the uh, shark bite one. Okay, and another thing I love about uh, using PEX versus uh, copper, it's really quick, super forgiving. So let's say you have a connection like this uh, somewhere in your house, but this line needs to move. You can just tweak it like that and it's not gonna leak. You could never do that with copper. So it's a little forgiving. Uh, it is kind of hard to get these off. You need to get a tool for that to cut the rings. But other than that, it's a great invention. So let's go over the um, shark bite. These are, I guess, relatively new. They work on copper or PEX and um, they're very quick and you can make connections and take them off fast. So. You're going to want to make sure before you put it on PEX that it's a clean piece of PEX. You don't want any nicks or anything in it for obvious reasons. So check this out. Here's what you do. You take this, shove it in, and that's it. It's connected. And uh, it even swivels. You know, so if you had um, a copper on this end, which you could do, and you're gonna to wanna to clean this up. You don't wanna put um, a dirty uh, tube in. You just shove that in like that. Now this end goes in a lot deeper, but easy way to join PEX to copper. And it's so fast. And in the bag, they give you these little tools. And what this does, you slip it on the pipe here and it's gonna push this little, um, see that little flesh colored piece of um, plastic little beige plastic there. I'm going to push that down with this tool. Let's get it at the right angle. And then it allows me to pull out the, uh, the pecs. That easy. Awesome stuff. Expensive, but awesome. Um, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. And uh, again, I, I like this brand. This I've used this on several jobs now. I'm no professional at plumbing, but you don't really need to be. Um, they give you instructions with it and um, it, it's, it's all worked great. I've had zero trouble with this. So I, I know on videos like this, a lot of professional plumbers like to uh, um, chime in. And so please do, if you have any tips uh, or helpful suggestions, um, let us know if I uh, have any misinformation, let me know. Sometimes I get things wrong too. But uh, anyway, I hope that's helped. You guys have an awesome day and good luck on your uh, project.